this is super cool. I'm driving by a house and over the back fence of the yard, you see Moringa. Moringa. Moringas. All Moringas. I love seeing that over someone's yard. What's up everyone, it's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. And I am here at my friend's house. I just met these people through another friend, um, Carrie and Mike, and they have 30 Moringas growing on uh, basically like 6,500 square foot lot, like a really small lot. And uh, I'm gonna enter the yard here and I'm gonna show you guys this amazing, amazing canopy of Moringas. Okay, so here we go. First off, right when you walk in, there's an epic golden fig tree. Look at the trunk on this thing. Like, it's just huge. So huge. I love this tree. It's a golden fig tree. Probably 15 feet tall. And this looks like an apple tree. beautiful and I want you to notice guys on the ground here she was saying that they have granite this isn't even clay on this lot because if you look over here there's mountains like this is right in the, in the valley of some mountains so this is all granite so she actually had to cut out holes to plant some of these trees um, got a date palm nice pomegranate and right now we are about to walk under the canopy of moringas. So check this out. Look at all these moringas growing. It's just so beautiful. I mean, it's noticeably cooler under here. Um, also, look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but every time you walk, it's like very loamy. So they've added a lot of wood chips over the years. And you can see the Moringa pods are just mulch down here. Um, it's awesome. And they got sweet potatoes growing as ground cover. You know, you got some kale over there. Um, and check this out. Once you start growing Moringas, you're going to get little seedlings just popping up everywhere. So there's another one there. And they're all over the place these seedlings but these have been in the ground for a couple years and if you come right over here there's a cool papaya super tall papaya right there and then this is a I think this is a kumquat got little little kumquat fruits on it and look, look at these beautiful grapevines just totally spread out all over the wall. Very thick little trunk down in there, if you could see that. And uh, well, this might be a little mulberry. And then this is an avocado that she planted from seed. Okay, so another interesting thing about Moringa is that all the flowers, you know, everything on this tree is edible. So right here we got a couple flower, uh, flowers now here's a little some leaves the flowers are edible but if you let a lot of flowers grow on your trees you're gonna get less leaves so what these guys like to do is they like to harvest the flowers from the lower levels and they leave the flowers on the top you know but when you look at the tops it has less less leaves at the top so the flowers are excellent Mm, pretty hearty, kind of sweet. Great for a salad. Mm, so good. But if you take the, the flowers off, you're gonna get more leaf production. So if you really wanna eat the leaves, um, if you notice some trees that are really producing a lot of pods and uh, mature pods, they're gonna be pretty scarce looking of leaves. They're gonna put all their energy into producing the flowers and the pods. So if you really want to eat a lot of leaves, pluck, pluck off your flowers. Leave the ones at the top so you can get some pods at the top. But uh, 
you'll grow a lot more leaves that way. So that's what they, they do here, that's their method. And you can see all the flowers really much on the top here. And you can see how little leaves are on those branches when it's got flowers. I'm gonna pull a branch here and show you, little guy. So look at this branch. This branch has two, three stems of, of, of leaves and then the whole top is flowers. So this is uh, indicative of what you're gonna get. You're gonna get less leaf production when you have flowers growing, which is fine because you can eat the flowers too. So anyways, <laughs> hope you guys uh, got a little information out of that. Watch me eat flowers. Mm. Oh, I want some leaves. Mm. I'm like an animal. <laughs> Have a mouthful of Moringo. Salad right on the tree. Just come out here and spray some olive oil on it. And spray some salt. You don't even really need it. Mmm. Mmm. So these thick pods, they're so fibrous on the outside that um, you can't just bite into them because it'll, it'll get in your teeth and stuff. But inside the pod, you see the seeds here. Little, little seeds, immature seeds. You can't really plant these ones, but you just open it up. And what you do is you just eat out the... You can use a spoon. And just eat the inside of the pod. Eat the little immature seeds. Put them in a stir fry. If you scoop it out with a spoon, then you can cook with the, or eat these in a stir fry or something. I gotta say, it's very tasty. I think I saw an immature pot over there too, so I'm gonna go show you that. After I eat this pod, mmm, mmm. So I guess if you peel the skin off like this, peel all the fiber pieces off, pretty much can. What a day. All right, so I wanna show you guys some of these immature pods. So these are the immature pods, the ones with less fiber in them. The really thin ones are really good for, um, if you cook them, they have an asparagus taste to them. Ow. Ooh. That date palm just stabbed me in the head. <laughs> right, so these are little green moringa, moringa pods, the immature ones. And uh, you can just eat them. Not a lot of fiber in these, yep, on the, on the skins. It's got a lot of fiber in it, but it doesn't have uh, too fibrous skin. So when you eat it, it kind of has like a green bean flavor raw. It's pretty good. If you cook it, it has an asparagus smell and flavor. Um, you can dice them up pretty good, but I mean, even just eating them raw, so healthy, so good. I've definitely had my moringa for the day. I had a lot of it today, <laughs> touring this place. It was so nice of them to show me in, but look at this, right where they trim it, cut it right here, boop. You got three branches coming out. So pruning your moringa works. So check it out, a whole bunch of seeds are going to be sprouting, it's very nice of her to give me some seeds, so I'm going to be giving away a few sprouts whenever I sprout these, so if you guys want some free seeds that are Arizona natives, just uh, shoot me a comment or a message and uh, I'll give you guys some seeds. I'll send out some in the mail. These are Arizona natives. I also have the PKM ones, which is the ones I'm growing right now, but look at that. It's just beautiful. So I'm gonna test these uh, Arizona hardy native seeds from these moringas here. And we're gonna do some tests to see how they grow compared to the PKM1 seeds. Thanks guys for tuning in. Super excited to be around all these moringas. Uh, there's a, definitely an energy in this yard, and I'm gonna say I just love being around plants, um, especially moringas. 
You just make me so happy. So I'm gonna eat the rest of this pod. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll answer all your comments. And if you guys want me to do a video on something else, on anything, let me know. All right, guys. Till next time. Develop awesome skills. Thanks so much, guys, for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, seeing what you can do with moringa and what you can grow, how you can grow it, and it grows just so well. And so, um, a couple years of moringas in the ground, you're gonna have all the food you need. But it's always nice to have a few mangoes or figs, pomegranates, other things in the food forest. You don't want a monoculture, even of moringas. You really want to, you know, include other other plants that are beneficial also. So. I just have so much energy. I'm so excited right now. Oh man, I love moringas. So if you guys like this video, give me a big green thumbs up. Hit the share button and let's share this video with the world. Let's show people that they can grow moringas and uh, they can eat it every single day. If you can't grow your own moringa right now, if you're in an apartment or something, just find super organic moringa capsules or the powder. So you can cook with the powder, you can take higher dosages with the powder, but the capsules are really nice because you can just pop a couple capsules in the morning and you don't even need a co I, I, I've been eating Moringa for a while now and I've had three coffees in the last three months. Not that coffee is the worst thing for you, but I'll tell you, I have way more energy without drinking coffee. And every time I try to drink a coffee now, for nostalgic sake or whatever, I get pretty jittery, super jittery and uh, I drop. I can really notice it now um, as I'm starting to listen to my body a little bit more. <laughs> so anyways guys, I'm gonna end on a beautiful Moringa blowing in the wind. And um, until next time, develop awesome skills. And uh, yeah, so enjoy the Moringas blowing in the wind. I love you guys, and until next time, ciao.